I'm Lee Woodruff, and welcome to Archetypes. And I am thrilled to be here today with Carolyn Mace, who is really the architect of this Archetypes. Yeah. Help us out. Right. What is an archetype? An archetype is a universal mythic pattern of power that every single human being is born recognizing. We would call it the language of the species, the language of human nature, so that we, every one of us knows by nature, that person is a natural mother. And if I said to you, that woman's just a natural mother, I don't have to define it. How come if I said to an audience, you know that guy's a geek, we just automatically know it's the language of our instincts. So this is something that's imprinted on right. us from birth. That's right. It's the language of our instincts. It's in our DNA. So can we change it? Wait can a minute. Can I be a that's different... Two, no, no, no. You're asking two different things. You asked what's an archetype. Now it's what's my archetypes that you're asking. You're shifting to what's mine. What is mine? Yes. Okay. So now what, how do we acquire our personal archetypes? Those we incarnate with, we're born with. They are just like we're born with talents. Can we change our talents? No. It's in the same vein. We okay. cannot change our talents. We cannot change our inclinations that way. No. If you're born athletic, you can't change that. You have the athlete archetype. And so just to, to pull back for a second and, and, and relate it to why you guys are here and what we're right. watching is that these archetypes, who we are, mm -hmm. and hopefully most of us get in tune with it because the contention is when you know who you are, life just goes easier because you figure out who do you want to be in a relationship with and what kinds of clothes or things make you happy and what kinds of activities make you happy. Your archetypes, archetypes in general, are magnets. If, here's another word for it. They're magnets inside of you that really organize your life. They have the authority in you. They influence every relationship you have. They influence how you comb your hair. They influence where you buy your house, where everything, how you see the world, how you think about yourself, the fears you have, the appetites for life, the cravings you have in life. There isn't one thing you are, can be, uh, want out of life, how you settle your problems, why you have problems, you cannot ever understand yourself. Until, if you ever said once to yourself, I don't know why my life is the way it is, mm. you are looking for an answer that's found by understanding your, your archetypal patterns. Which is what I think is so fascinating about this site. We're not necessarily organizing people in silos. No. We're creating a fluidity for people to understand first who they are mm -hmm. and then figure out how they want to connect. And so what you're saying is, People can all cross-connect. All of the symbols right. of archetypes right. to, aren't necessarily exclusive if right. you're not an athlete. Not at all, but, but I'll tell you this. Athletes are more likely to want to partner in a personal relationship with other people who are athletic. It makes sense. You want to go running with your husband. Or Absolutely. You go... Or you want to go mountain climbing with a partner. Right. You know, somebody who's athletic is not likely to find someone who's a couch potato. Right. Very attractive. Right. So we've begun to specialize in relationships. And are you able to help relationships when you're able to say to the sorrowful person, here's why, or the person who keeps choosing abusers, here's why you're doing this. Absolutely. Open your eyes. You are attracting this type of archetype. Why am I? Because this is the archetypal pattern that's controlling you right now. You know, and, and you need to understand this pattern. So by answering the main question, which is really, who am I? Right. You're able to kind of get to that next level in figuring out why we do the things we do. And you start the journey. You start the journey. You start the journey. You begin the journey into yourself. We used to use the outside world as the frontier, but we are now the new frontier. The world behind our eyes is the next frontier. Discovering who we are why we do what we do, what makes us tick, what are the patterns, why do I believe what I believe, what's my mythologies. We label ourselves. How often do we mm -hmm. say I'm such a jerk? All the time. That's an archetype. Right. How many people are driven by I want to be an actress? That's an archetype. You know, I, I, they see themselves as entrepreneurs. That's an archetype. When someone says, what do you want to be when you grow up? They're asking them for an archetype that they're imagining. 
Right. Well, I, I want to. I want to be a. Uh, maybe I want to be a teacher, or I want to be a scientist, or I want to be a physician. Every one of these is an archetype. No, no one ever says, well, I wonder what that is. We just know what that means. And we know what we're asking them is, what kind of power do you want to deal with when you're older? That's what an archetype is. Once you've taken the test, so I know who I am, for example, how do I use that information? How do I go start the journey, as you would say? Archetype me was conceived to be a community, a community that opens up to a global networking site in which your archetype is a social magnet that help you meet other people. If I'm an artist, where do other artists live? Where do they sell their goods? What, what do we have in common? What do I have in common with other artists? What about other entrepreneurs? Well, you begin to network with people and relationships that way. And what do they, you know, where can I sell my, my work? So it's and a way to aggregate with people who absolutely. think like you, care about the things you care about. Absolutely. It's a way of forming a global mm -hmm. community, but based on understanding my belief systems, understanding my archetypal patterns. I want to thank you for being here because you have enlightened me. You've enlightened everybody who's watching about archetypes and also about why it's important to take this test. So take the test. And for those of you that already have, have some fun on the site. As Carolyn said, there's so many things to dig deep and communities to find, and there's something new happening every day. So thanks for watching, and thank you for being here.